Next up, presidential candidate Nikki Haley. Apparently she found herself in some hot water recently when she was asked about the reasons behind the Civil War. By the way, forgetting to mention the main reason, which was slavery. Well, on Thursday, just a couple weeks later, she attempted to clean up her answer of omitting slavery as a cause of the war by saying, quote, I have black friends growing up. I had black friends growing up. A lot of people are trolling her, getting on her and what have you, and who knows how it's going to affect her in the polls because she was gaining some momentum, particularly going up against Ron DeSantis, when none of them are coming close to Donald Trump, by the way, but that's a different subject for another day. Let me say this to white folks out there who have black friends. When you say, I have black friends, that's very incriminating. You know why? Because white folks who usually say that are the ones who are accused of or perceived as having a problem with being friendly to black people. Now, I'm not saying that Nikki Haley is guilty of such a thing. She was the former governor of South Carolina, by the way. And I get that part. But I'm just saying even though some people can take it out of context, even some people incriminating her too excessively, the bottom line is just a lesson to be learned here. Don't use the black friends label. All it lets everybody know is that it's not something that you're accustomed to, it's an aberration. And because of that, it's justification not to trust you. If you are a Republican, if you're a, remember, if you're a member of the conservative right, here's a hint. There's an abundance of black folks out there who share your ideology and your ideological beliefs. Just be seen with them, hang with them. Like-minded folks in terms of their ideology, hanging out with one another, regardless of race, ethnicity, etc. If you just do that, that will go a long way. On far too many occasions, it's something I once told late Senator John McCain, God rest his soul, when he was running for election against Barack Obama. I said the biggest problem with the Republican Party is the fact that every time you see an abundance of them, it's only them around who happen to be white. You rarely see anybody black around them. I didn't say never, I said really. And I think former Speaker of the House, Mr. McCarthy, said it best, I don't know whether it was weeks ago or months ago. And he talked about looking at the Democratic Party and seeing a semblance of America. And looking at the Republican Party and seeing the most posh, affluent country club in America. I'm paraphrasing, but I believe I got that quote right. It's just something to think about. It's just something to think about. I'm a registered independent. So I flow either way, Republican or Democrat, but even though I'll be damned if I vote for a Republican, that's Trump. But you get what I'm saying. I hope you do.